Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jeremy Cash, live and direct with another valuable, valuable video for you. Today we're going to talk about some more traffic methods, right? Mainly two that I think will help you guys out a lot. Now, I came across something that was extremely dope, something that I really didn't put two and two together until I saw it. Uh, so I don't know who's doing this, but whoever's doing it is a, is a genius. They're very smart. So I was watching a couple viral videos, uh, just not even thinking nothing about CPA, uh, just scrolled across some on my timeline. And I noticed something that somebody's doing with CPA marketing, and I'm going to show you. So this video has, it was on Monday uh, when they dropped this, it already has 67,000 views, a thousand plus comments, a thousand shares. And a lot of engagement, right? So it's just a video of a girl, you know, dancing while her friend sings in the background, right? And her friend singing, right? A little goofy video, right? Just a funny little video, right? But at the end, this pops up, right? So watch this. It says, I caught my man cheating. Now I want to help you. This was so genius, right? The thing about how genius this was, because whoever this is, I don't know if this is this the girl that's doing it, if it's her doing it, or if some if they hired a model, or if they just had a, a a pretty friend do it. But the thing that gets you is she's an attractive woman, right? Uh, the marketing was crazy behind it because a lot of people, you know, they they want to uh go through their you know boyfriend or girlfriend's phone to find out if they're cheating they can do it on the low so this is pretty much kind of listen just listen to this now i don't found text dms location phone numbers chick names all of that now i'm gonna show y'all some steps on how y'all can find y'all boo bay lover whatever y'all want to call it um people that they cheat on you with just keep watching and i'm gonna show you all right you're gonna go to sellhacker.info all right, once there, you're going to go ahead and put in the phone number of the person that you're trying to catch. Now it says, please wait while we grab the text messages. So let's see what comes up. Hope it's some good stuff. Okay, so it looks like we got a few messages. So we're just going to go ahead and tap on one. All right, so this page looks like it's a human verification just to make sure you're not a robot. So what you're going to do is go ahead and download one of these apps to your device. Leave it open for 30 seconds. And then you're going to close it out and go back to the website. And voila, you caught that cheating ass. Y'all hear that? <laughs> that is some amazing marketing, right? People, hey, whoever is doing this, you're very smart. And I, I am impressed. I am impressed. Not only am I impressed by this video, but they've done more. But I actually went to the website. They got them a domain name, of the cell hacker, uh, dot TV, I believe, or what it was. Yeah, cell hacker dot info and it is the exact cpa website that they probably either created some type of landing page from uh og ads or something like that but it's definitely a uh so i'll just put in a random number here uh i mean it, it's exactly what they said it does it um uh, but it you know it, it's the content locker and i was just like wow that went super viral right has the messages people will be excited yeah that's that's crazy they'll click on it and then you know human verification bingo <laughs> human verification so that was very smart whoever was doing that i really like that not only did they do this video but if you go back to this guy young poppy page a lot of people know who he is he's been popular for a couple of years now uh, but he has uh, like a million followers who either it's him doing it or somebody either paid him to upload all these videos because every video on here they've been doing for a couple of days either they're uh asked him to pr promote because this is a some of these are fairly new channels right but it's this paid uh what hood videos and funny videos which was fairly new pages but at the end of every video you see the same thing and there and, and it's all down this timeline right so even on this one at the end of this video same thing right Maybe I want to call. very very smart marketing all the way down this timeline and he has tons and tons of fans so they're making some extremely good money even with this one, the whole Cardi B, uh, you know, gives lessons and all that. At the end of it, what do you see? 
smart marketing guys this is what I was telling you guys about thinking outside of the box now I didn't even think of this portion like I've done a, a, a method similar but uh, I didn't do it to this extent and that's pretty simple to do you can actually do that from your phone uh, if you have a Android phone you can use uh, what's the name of that uh, software it's called uh, InShot so I'll Google it so you guys can see what, what I'm talking about but it's called InShot right you can use that on your phone I'm not sure if Apple has I think Apple does has it so if you guys want to make videos off of your phone uh, you could do that and then if you all I'm pretty sure you know how to download a video off of YouTube or you know whatever but if not just go to download you know uh, YouTube video or Facebook video and then it'll give you you'll just paste the URL in there and then you're good to go so that's pretty much how you would do that method which was super killer because I mean if you think about it like I told you guys normal stuff works and somebody just started doing it so I don't know if it's somebody who watched my stuff and just thought of something crazy outside the box but that was a really great method and it's gonna bring you a lot of money uh, now uh, another you know site that you guys were asking about was Bing now honestly I haven't used Bing as much uh, at all because I've just been using my other traffic sources but I've always seen a lot of people you know kill it with Bing and Bing is something that I'm gonna probably get into here in the next uh, couple of weeks and really get down but I, I mean I know how to run an ad I just haven't you know did it with this particular website because I have you know success with other ones but uh, when you come to Bing you'll sign up right and Bing is not Google so you know the the competition isn't as high on here and that's why a lot of people use Bing uh, because the competition is just not as high uh, and so you can come here and you can click you know create a campaign and then normally you just kinda wanna pick you know which one you want normally I do visits to my website some people do conversions on my website but I normally just do you know I would do uh, you know visits to the website and then you will come here in your campaign name so depending on whatever what you're doing so for instance let's say I was just doing a uh, Krispy Kreme because that's probably what I'll you know do here just give you an example of an offer that you guys could do so you want to go your individual budget you know however you want to do it but starting out I usually tell people you know start out with five dollars to see if you can start getting you know a couple of clicks and things like that uh, and then from there you know as it starts to grow you know if you start to get clicks and conversions then you could do that so that's um pretty much you know whatever budget you want to use right here um now as far as where do you live where do you where do you want your ads to appear now depending on your country that you're going to be doing uh on cpa grip or whatever platform you're going to be using uh you can do you know this right here and you can exclude you know certain ones so if I just wanted to do USA you know I could do that right I could just you do United States and that's it if I didn't want to uh, you know include Canada or anybody else just for my you know specific targeting I could do that uh, then you come down here the people who you want to see your ads you know uh, people in your targeted locations right I usually can uncheck that one and then down here uh, as far as the languages of course I put English but whichever one works for you on this part you go save and go to the next step right now your URL this is where you will put your landing page okay so for instance you will need to create a landing page in order to run the ad because you don't want to run your ad to the exact landing page so for instance if I go here to the CPA offer I see I'll get a dollar fifty five uh, for Krispy Kreme right so in this instant you know you could take the link from here and you know check it out but normally I'll usually build a, a landing page around this so I will actually go to the Krispy Kreme website now you can pick out whatever you know uh, pictures that you want to off of here or you can just copy this whole thing and make it a landing page however you want to do that since you guys kind of are familiar with how to do that now um, I'm just gonna do this way so I'm gonna download a picture right just something simple sometimes it doesn't have to be you know super complex you can just do something extremely simple so with this one 
I will go ahead and find this image, right? And then let me see, upload. I would find, uh, let's see, is it in my documents or my downloads? Bingo, right here. So I'd open that up, right, as a photo on the page. And then all you have to do from this point now, I'm using uh, lead pages. This is like my favorite thing to do to create landing pages. So if you want to make it smaller like that or put it on the other side, you can do that, right? Um, you can keep it big however you want to do it uh, just put something simple I'm just going to throw something up here for now just for the example uh, you know $50 I'm just say free $50 crispy cream card now, normally I wouldn't put that, but I'm just doing it just for this video, right? But, bingo. Something simple. Then you would come down here, just throw your button on there. Or if you want this link to be clickable, completely up to you. But normally I would just put my button right here. And then I would just put like get card. Very, very simple, right? Now I can make that as big as I want. You know, as far as the size, make it stand out, make it green, make it red or whatever color, uh, you know, we're looking at to do. So if you want to add color, let's just say I'll keep it. I'll just keep it red, right? Like that. It's kind of bright, but it pops, right? So this is the landing page that they would go to, but it would be, you know, it look a lot more presentable than this, but just giving you guys an example. Uh, and then as far as the, the link, I would normally cover this link. So let's say I copied it and then I would probably do bit.ly, you know, or you can use some other shorteners, you know, I think they have the Google URL shortener and all the other ones. So you could just create a, a link wrapped, right? And there's a few other ways to do it, but I'll have to explain those in a different video. And then I would just put, scroll down link to an external site we'll put that there so as soon as they click that they can go there so boom that's it you know free Krispy Kreme they'll look at this page if this image is too big for you on here you can either space that on one side and then the other side to put it you know directly in the middle bingo if that so if that's you know better for you or however you guys want to do that so that's that's pretty simple just a simple landing page but if you want it to look really nice you can spend more time on it so by the time I publish that, you know, it should go straight over. So this will be my landing page for uh, my ad, right? Something simple. Come down here to make sure it works. They click it. So this may happen for you. If you there might be a problem with a requested link, some URL shorteners we reuse their links, so Bitly can't guarantee the validity of this link. So if you don't want this to come up, you probably won't be able to use Bitly. You might have to use a different one. So just search, you know, uh, link shorteners, and you know, because I think Bitly has been having this problem lately. So just an FYI, if you don't want to use Bitly, but just for this video, I'm not gonna go through all that. All right. So now that we got this page, then we want to go back here and we want to put in our URL. Right, so that's where the people are gonna go once they're you know in there. Okay. Now, as far if you want to get keywords, what you can do is you can either take this link, the website link since it's already the official link and it's ranked, you can actually put that here to get keywords. So if I come over here and I click search, you know, you can find certain keywords that you may want to put in there, right? And so we'll see what they give us. And it looks like they gave us a couple that get some searches. Let's see here. Jobs. No, nah, we don't want none of that. So some of these are kind of, you know, janky. Some of these keywords are kind of trash. Let me go back. So if we don't want to use that, then we won't use it. Okay. So let me pause this and go back to where I was at. All right. So if you find yourself not finding any 
keywords from the actual link. Uh, what you can do is go to Google and just type in Krispy Kreme. And, and normally all of the uh, keywords that you need will pop up. So these are all the keywords that most people are searching. So, you know, this gets, you know, 60,000 uh, 60, a month searches and you know so you can uh, copy pretty much all of these for the keywords you can use those and you could paste those uh you know inside of the keyword box right now you know separated by commas or lines you, you'll normally get you know the exact searches so if i just did you know crispy cream and then uh crispy cream menu right let me go back here Just for an example, but you know you can load those up, right? So you'll load those up. Uh, let me see the ad group name. I'll just do the KK, not the second K, not the third K though. <laughs> All right, so you're here, right? Now you can create your ad, and it'll show you exactly what it's gonna look like on Bing, right? And so uh a tip for getting you know better conversions if you add a little bit more like if you add a bonus so for instance if they decide to get Krispy Kreme maybe you have a software or a bonus or something else that you can give them uh that'll normally help you to get you know better conversions right so this one just you know freshly deliver flowers now but then they have a bonus you can save 10 percent with the summer promotion so that you know it's going to intrigue more people to come in right so your final URL will be your landing page, right? Then your uh, the title. So let me just go ahead and fill this part out real quick. So let me go not to that, but here we go. So your final URL we already know is this, right? Your title could be $50 or yeah, you could just say fifty dollar crispy cream card. No cost to you. Something like that, right? But normally I don't put all caps, so we'll just say no cost. Whoops. No cost to you something like that right uh, and then that's gonna intrigue a lot of people when they see that no cost to me they're gonna be curious they'll click on it right uh, your second title is normally I believe this stuff here so whatever you want to say about it uh, get your Oh no, that's the third title. I mean, this is the title. My bad, guys. So this is still more here. So uh, you could say limited time, time offer. So that'll be the third thing in your uh, title, right? Then you can add more to that if you want to, or you can skip that. Uh, now this is how you want this part to show up. So you see, as far as Cashville L Pages uh, dot co, you could do slash crispy cream and if you have more you could do that and then you could say a $50 giveaway or something like that right uh, so we don't need the title three we're here now on the text yeah so this is where you add your ad uh, text here so you could say something similar to crispy cream number one and donut industry <laughs> you could just say anything right here guys donut industry and a little more things you can add more text you know blase blase right and then uh right here your mobile url so if you have one of those you can use that uh and then you pretty much just save it guys and that's it so you can save it and then you can create another one part one cannot exceed 30 characters so I can't exceed 30 characters, so some of this I'll have to delete. Uh, I exceeded by 10 characters. So yeah, I would just have to remove some of this, whatever, right? Okay, so then 
after that, either you can save and create another one. Now, one thing I would tell you guys if, if you want to run traffic is do split testing. Uh, normally, what that is is you would run two of the same ads with one with maybe a landing page or two separate landing pages. One, you know, landing page that looks how the, how we have it, and then one maybe that looks a little better. And then you will put five dollars into each of them. Now, whichever one starts to get the more in, most engagement, you would then pause the ad that's not getting the engagement and then scale the other ad. So what do I mean by scale? I mean, so for instance, if you had, you know, you were doing five dollars a day, you found out that uh, one ad was performing better than the other one, then you would take that five dollars to twenty dollars, or fifteen to twenty dollars, or thirty, forty dollars, or a hundred and five hundred dollars, right? You will continue to scale it as it continues to grow, and that's how you start to get, you know, bigger and better, uh, you know, profits when it comes to CPA marketing or just running ads. Period. Once you learn how to scale it, then you'll kill it every single time, guys. So as I was saying before, always think outside the box. There's a lot of stuff coming out. NFL, uh, the NFL season is coming up. It's a lot of stuff you guys can do with that. It's a lot of stuff you guys can do with articles. There's a lot of different, uh, you know, gossip sites out there. There's movies, there's music, you know, <clears throat> gaming industry is big. So use that to your advantage, guys, and you will kill it every single time. There's so many things that you guys can do. Don't get overwhelmed with it. Just kind of sit and relax and just think about, okay, what is, you know, going on today? If you need to go on the training site on Google to find out what's training, just to find out different stories or different things that you can use uh, to make more money off of it, uh, you can do that. So these are some of the different methods, guys. But other than that, uh, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification for you know more updated videos. Also, I am the people's YouTuber. So guys, whatever questions or concerns you guys have, make sure you comment below whatever videos you want to see. Uh, let me know because I'm here to help you guys. I'm here for you all. So uh, if I can help you, then that helps me, right, knowing that I help somebody. So other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.